Warning, Kingdom Death contains mature content, be it in its story themes and or its uh, images. Uh, while these videos may, while videos involving Kingdom Death Monster may not contain in specifically mature content in them, the game does, and thus if these videos generate interest for it, you will, you've been warned that that is what it will lead to. If this does not bother you, please enjoy the video. Thank you. Hello everyone, and welcome to this unboxing video for ooh, Kingdom Death Monsters Lonely Tree Expansion. This is one of the original 12 expansions to Kingdom Death Monster, and as Wave 2 of the Kickstarter is here, I have all 12 now. This is actually the expansion, to, in my personal taste, I've been looking forward to the most, as it is an expansion that kind is kind of a monster thing but really everything in this world is kind of monsterish including your play including the player characters at least by what the uh, Adam Poots the uh, lead creator or the the creator of the setting in um, states Let's see Raptor Tech or Tech Raptor video from Gen Con 2017 it says in an actual interview regardless this thing has the tendency to, I don't remember it shows up during the hunt as a potential fight to the before the fight you're going to, or if it adds to the fight. Don't know how it works, but yeah. Oh, also, like all the other expansions, except the Green Armor Knight, um, it's got a nice pressed on solid image um, for the expansion itself. Uh, I might be slicing these out personally, because honestly, the interior of the box is just styrofoam and awkward cardboard. Now, to my knowledge, this is also the one with the least amount of mechanics, and it's just a really giant model. I also love the way this model looks. I'll... Looks like it won't make too much of a mess if I open this up now. I'll get to that in a bit. I want to make sure I've got everything out of the box, as it's just a bunch of styrofoam, and there's got to be some mechanics here. Eh. Otherwise, it's just an art model, and I'm not a big fan of getting those. Like, I like some of them. Ooh, here we go. But, they're really expensive for just models. I get models as a hobby, but I also like having game mechanics to go with them. Uh, I think that's everything. This is going to be one I'm going to want to dump out later and look. Oh, of course, I'm forgetting. So one of the awkward parts about this is there's a cardboard insert separating everything. And there's always something crammed back there. At least the dividers. But the last two I've opened, I've found gear cards crammed back there, and it's been really annoying. Excuse me a moment while I make sure to look. I'll need to check that in detail later, but not right now. Right now, doing this for you guys. <laughs> it kind of poked right through. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the model. So one thing I've always liked about the Kingdom Death models, as a quick note, is I noticed this the armor sets. They've got little pegs and holes here, so that these things stack really nicely, providing that they're the same size sprue. Could be entirely different models, but they'll still stack. So it's really nice for storage purposes. But we've got the small sprue for one of the, is she? I don't know what's going on with her. Um, for one of the few purely naked models, the Lonely Lady, which if I'm, yep, Lonely Lady, which if I'm correct, is just an extension of the tree. Bases for her, and then pieces making up the Lonely Tree itself. Now, if I can get a good point of view on any of these parts, the Lonely Tree itself, it might be quicker to find the artwork. Oh, like here's all the bushes and everything. Yeah, I really can't get a good image of it on the model. And then he has his own base. Oh, yeah, you can see it in the base. That's the root of the tree. Roots of the tree. If you look carefully, the tree is made up of what looks like arms. I seriously don't know what Poots has with hands and arms. Like, I have friends who cannot look at these models without just 
feeling all sorts of odd. And I don't blame them. So, divider cards. Uh, oh, yep, that tells me there's no gear card. This is the one that only comes with a large divider. And then the booklet itself, which comes, which has the same image on the front. These use the same uh, standard start, er, art style, as well as uh, layout. It tells you all the new rules, some new story events. This one looks a lot like just story events. Um, it is a showdown in itself. Yeah, so I think it's been two blank pages. That's different. Um, I think it's just a fight that you could end up having to deal with. I don't even know if the rewards are good or anything like that. Clearly has some strange resources. Uh, doesn't have a crafting location or anything like that. So we've got the baseline card, the hunt event. Now notice this one is not labeled as a unique hunt event. The way this works is you toss it in with the normal hunt cards. The ones that usually say, just roll on the hunt table. Um, because, yeah, they designed that with future cards in reference. I already have one, in fact. I, maybe two? Yeah, two. Because I have Fade and Percival, which also do this. And they're kind of mini expansions instead of promo cards. Um, the Lonely Tree itself is classified as a terrain. Uh, this is different than the Nightmare Tree that comes with the base game. Then we've got the AI cards. The Hit Location. I can't wait to fight this thing. Um, and then some strange resources, like the Lonely Fruit, the Jagged Morrow Fruit, Blistering Plasma Fruit, Porous Flesh Fruit, and Drifting Dream Fruit. I've heard some ifty things about the, about them. I don't remember any of it, and I don't, I'm glad I don't. But, that's everything for this expansion. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, please share this video. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and press the dislike button. I'll, I'll understand, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, if you want to in general, feel free to comment. Um, although, do try to restrain on comments about please go over this stuff in more detail. I'll be getting around to that. I've got to finish going through the base game first, then I'll get to these. And might end up having to do some other stuff in between. Um... I do other games. Uh, <laughs> uh, regardless, um, <laughs> also, if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, set overview videos, or my painting videos, or anything else I do on this channel, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.